Okay, so now that you've finished up proof of concept prototyping, it's time to step back and think about the work you've done to this point. Think about what you learned through project identification phase, figuring out exactly what your user needed, and through the specification development phase as you figured out exactly how to go about meeting those user needs. And then now as you got into this conceptual design phase, you walked through brainstorming, low fidelity prototyping, coming to some concept convergence or making decisions about what you'd go forward with, and then getting into your feasibility prototype. There are a lot of things that you learn along the way that you didn't know when you started and that could influence the decisions that you made. Through that process, you'll grow an understanding of your stakeholders and of the problem that they have. And that problem statement you have may change or alter through time. So as you get to the end of your project, going through the design cycle one time, you may find that you've missed the mark on exactly what your user needed, and they may result in less than perfect reaction to your prototype. And the feedback you get on your prototypes will often lead you to new insights that are going to go back and change the specifications you made, change the user needs you had, may even lead you just back into the brainstorming phase, just a short step back in the process. But iteration is a key part of the design process. And it's important that you don't get too caught up in the outputs you've created along the way and really trying to defend those, but keeping your mind open to understanding the needs of your user and being willing to go back and really try and change things to give a good solution. So if we go back to our example, looking at the ISBVI magnifier team, this is the proof of concept prototype they came up with on a second go around iteration. So we showed you a couple of prototypes they had along the way. And here they have a functional XY table. They've added a whiteboard top to it so that people could write directly on it with a marker and be able to see what they're doing with the camera that came down. They have a camera attachment that's able to snap into three positions. And they have pretty final materials here on the arms that hold this up and on the iPad stand. So you can see how iterating through this process leads you to a better deliverable. This team's continuing to develop this as they iterate and come up with new solutions. Really good companies and industry continuously iterate, but they'll put out a product that meets the needs of their user and then create a second version or a third as they go along. And that's part of the product development life cycle. So to recap on this, I like to go with the quote from Thomas Edison. You haven't found a way that failed. You've just found 10,000 ways that didn't work. So whenever you get those times in your project where you're not quite hitting the mark with your project partner, don't be discouraged or don't feel like that's a negative reflection on you. That's how you learn as a designer. And even professional designers have to go through those learning pains. Iteration occurs in every phase of the design cycle. Sometimes it's within a phase going back and saying, we tried this conceptual design, it didn't work, we're gonna try again. Or sometimes it's going way back in the process to say, you know, we really missed something in the way we framed this problem. Don't get too attached to your concept. You'll always have concepts that fail as you go along the way. And even though you've put a lot of work into them and you don't wanna see them fail, that's part of the process of getting better. Instead, be attached to the idea of providing a service or solving a problem. Be committed to the idea that you are going to work through all of those hurdles and get to a solution that works. So one more time, it's your turn. Write a short paragraph reflecting on your project and the successes and failures you've had. What were the high points where you felt really confident going forward? And what were the low points where you really felt lost in the process or felt like you had a major setback? Think about, did you have to go all the way back to the drawing board? Did you have to go back to the problem statement? Well, how far back in the process did you have to iterate? Also think about, what did you learn from that process? How did you get better as a designer? And how did your end product end up being better by fighting through those hurdles and moving forward?